we are undertaking a series in our midweek services for the month of April captioned understanding the mystery of faith. Missing my place is that place in Gaining access to the depth of a thing. The Bible defines mystery, I mean faith, as a mystery. It's one of the vital mysteries of the kingdom. You know, unto you is given, Mark 4, 11, to know the mysteries of the kingdom of God. But to them that are without all these things are mere stories. Mysteries of the kingdom are the secrets behind the stories. It is those secrets behind the stories of scriptures that make stars on the earth. They make the face of a man to shine, and the boldness of his countenance cannot be stopped. Assessing those secrets and engaging with them makes an overcomer in any area of life where such light is encountered. First Timothy 3.9 Holding the mystery of the faith in a pure conscience. That further clarifies the fact that faith is a mystery of the kingdom. For instance, through faith, we understand that the walls were framed by the word of God. What? It's as deep as that. And the things that we now see do not come forth out of the things that do appear. Through faith, the elders obtained a good report. It's always getting results. It's a mystery. The mystery behind this mystery is the fact that it taps into heaven's virtue to the defines human value. Somebody touch me. What me? Virtue is gone out of me. Woman, thy faith has made the whole. Your faith has tapped into virtue, which has come down to enhance your value. The flow of blood is stopped. It's not a belief system far away from the realms of psychologists. Far, forever far. Far, far. It's able to tap into virtue that raises the dead of four days. It never returns defeated from any battle. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. So an understanding of that mission is vital to fulfilling a glorious destiny in a wicked world. I'm in my core office this month. I have a global faith mandate to the world, amen, <laughs> that this generation will not forget forever. Amen. 
Faith is not all these uh, big lectures we are giving out. <laughs> no. Faith is man's asset to the power of God that puts him on top any day, any time, on all issues and circumstances. In 1 Corinthians 2, 4 and 5, he said that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. So faith, faith draws on the power of God. We have not come to you with enticing words of man's wisdom, but with power and the mission of the Spirit, that your faith should not stand in the wisdom of men, but in the power of God. No winner in the world should doubt the efficacy of faith. We are a faith made. Let's start. Faith born. Faith raised. Faith made. Community of believers. Remove faith from here. There is no more substance left. Faith is the substance of anything substantial in the kingdom. Faith is the substance of anything substantial in the kingdom. Through faith, they subdued kingdoms. My God. They wrought righteousness. They quenched the furnace of fire. They stopped the mouth of iron, lions. Faith that can keep you alive and smiling in the midst of a fiery furnace. Is that not a mystery? When you put flesh inside water to fry, I mean inside fire, it will fry. And this one now refines. And they came out with their cap and their shoes and their hair in place. They won't turn it back. <laughs> it's a mystery. A mystery behind unchallengeable triumph. Limit breaking triumph. And that's the realm you're entering into. So don't sit down there and, you know, uh, we have a lot of faith teachings in our ministry. Um, if you need it, I'll just let, it, let you have it. No. You show it. They will look for it. Show that faith works. And they will look for it. From this month onward, everybody is jumping out of the grave of unbelief. It's, it's, it's the most devastating grief. Hmm? It keeps an innocent man down, and permanently so, if allowed. Everything's thinking about every man will be turned to a shining testimony. He said, by now he's thinking. He says, shut up. Did I not tell you if you believe you see the glory of God? Nothing stinks with faith. Everything breaks forth with faith. When it's time, allot means we can go. Because faith draws on the word, it comes from the word, from hearing and understanding the word. And God's word is God's covenant with man. We cannot be broken. Until the day and the night stops, God's covenant is in force. And the Bible is God's old and new covenant ratified into one and through Jesus. By way of introduction, no covenant of scriptures has the devil in the equation for delivery. When you locate your place in a covenant of scriptures, uh, you have uh, thrown the devil out of your system. He has no say. Not, I, I will do this if the devil allows. No. There is no such statement in scriptures. Except my covenant be not with the day and with the night. <laughs> then you may attempt to stop my covenant from working. Jeremiah 33, and verse 20 and 21.
No covenant of, the, of scriptures has the devil in the equation for delivery. So stop saying, if not the devil, if not the devil, he has no place. When faith comes alive, the devil packs out. Above all, taking the shield of faith, you quench all the fiery darts of the devil. When light shows up, darkness packs out. Any argument? Is there any argument? So, so when faith shows up from the world, we shall say darkness and darkness cannot handle. Darkness packs out. Every challenge we will ever face, they are defined as the trial of your faith. It's your faith that's been challenged. Let's find out where you stand. Come on now. <laughs> he said, the trial of your faith be much more precious than silver and gold. First Peter chapter 1 and verse 7. So every challenge of life is a trial of faith. That the trial of your faith be much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. He shows up. When your faith comes alive, Jesus shows up. Yes. What has been written has been written. What are you doing here? Jesus was in the moment of temptation. It is written. Ah. Second time, it is written. Third time, it is written. Boo! Disappeared. Quenched. That's why whenever faith comes alive from the world, not assumed faith, what steered faith? When, whenever faith comes alive, victory supernaturally comes along. This is the victory that overcomes the world, even our faith. When we engage with the covenant of scriptures, believing. Delivery is guaranteed the devil notwithstanding. When we engage with the covenant of scriptures, believing, delivery is guaranteed the devil notwithstanding. Isaiah 14 verse 24. By myself as one. Saying, surely, forget about any devil. As I have thought, so shall you come to pass. And I purpose, so shall you stand. My covenant will I not break, no matter how many devils appear on the planet. No other those things have gone forth out of my lips. So when we engage with any covenant of scriptures, believing, delivery is guaranteed, the devil notwithstanding. This foundation is very important to all the other teachers we'll be hearing. Otherwise, we'll be here. I wish, I wish that God knows my situation is so special. You know, from birth, I've been having enemies. As long as our obedience of faith is in place regarding the covenant of scriptures, the devil is completely out of the equation. Amen. As long as our obedience of faith, not dormant faith, obedience of faith is in place regarding any covenant of scriptures, the devil is completely out of the equation. If you hearken to my voice, observe to do what I command you to do, I will set you on high above all nations of the earth, no matter how many devils are in your town or village. The judge shall live by his faith. If he turns back, he's the one that has a problem. God has no problem. <laughs> now, what is faith? Faith. 
faith can be defined as the most potent force in the whole universe. If you can believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Mark 9, 23. That's taking off the realm of humanity to the realm of divinity. For with man, this thing is impossible, but not with God. For with God, all things are possible. Now with you that believe, all things are possible to him that believes. My God. <laughs> Can you blame Nebuchadnezzar for worshipping Shedrach, uh, Meshach, and Abednego? Have you ever seen anybody come out of fire before? <laughs> Ebola. Shiny. Nebuchadnezzar prostrated. <laughs> Anybody who says anything against the God of Daniel, I mean, I mean, I go, he will be born in the fire on the spot. Ha! Ha! My God. The same way Satan and demons were pleading for Jesus to spare them. That's how they be pleading before you. It is faith that makes the believer a living wonder. What manner of man is this? On what basis? Uh, even the wind and the sea obey his voice. <laughs> How? By the operation of faith. Why are you so fearful? Why oh, you have little faith? So it's not just casual faith. Strong faith. <laughs> Building strength to your faith. No Jacob Jacob faith that people are carrying about. I believe, I confess, I possess. Go and steal it. <laughs> My God. <laughs> Some faith. Word practicing faith. Word engaging faith. Instruction complying faith. Not wishful faith. This is the place, and it didn't look like it by enemies. Yes, God said it, I believe it. That said to this. And it came to this wilderness of want, of vanity, of emptiness, and turned the city out of it. Active faith. Now God said, This is it, and then he said, Father God, Father Son, Father Holy Ghost, am I correct? Am I to go? Am I not to go? What would they say? Won't they think I'm mad? You know, everybody can think. I mean, am I thinking like this? Is this a way to think? Um, am I educated? I mean, if I now begin to do this, how would my peers be saying? That's the year faith. <laughs> this is the place. Thank you, Jesus. And told them right there, God just spoke to me, this is the place. Not all these uh, flamboyant, psychedelic faith that people are carrying around. Until you do what he says to do, he won't do what you want him to do. Until you and I do what God says to do, he won't do what you want him to do. Because the scriptures cannot be broken. The scripture, God is bound by his word. <laughs> if you are not a titan, and Papa pray for you, you know Papa is a titan. And he's a, he's a technocrat in titan. <laughs> and you come near this huge chap water and he puts his leg on you. I put my prosperity leg on your head. The name of Jesus, start walking in prosperity. <laughs> you say, I tell you, Papa did not lay hands on me. He laid a leg on me. He said, the Lord told him to lay a leg on me. <laughs> All the angels will be laughing. Papa, who is Papa? He, he, Papa will break scripture by what? By the calling I gave him. So he will break my word? No. Act your faith. Some are givers, but they are also grumblers. <laughs> so they destroy their seed by grumbling. Ah. It's putting the world to, to, to work deliberately, intentionally, consciously. Some people are tired of hearing this because they, they, have, they didn't do the last one. So what will the extra one do for them? You better wake up. 
talking about religious faith. The faith that works, which we are dealing with on Sundays. Now, here it is, and faith is what differentiates between the winning and the losing believer. For it is to everyone according to his faith. Between the healthy and the sickly believer, for it is to everyone according to his faith. Between the prosperous and the provided believers, it is to everyone according to his faith. Mark 9.29 Every great story in the kingdom is by grace through faith. This includes salvation, deliverance, healings, breakthroughs. They are all by grace, which has appeared to all men. So it's not that somebody has more grace than another. The grace of God has appeared to all men. So all believers are beneficiaries of his lavish grace. But deliverable by faith. He has saved by grace through faith. That's not of your own. It's not of works, lest any man should boast. So it's not. So every event, every outstanding event in a man's life in the kingdom is by grace. It's available to all through the faith of the individuals, which is determined by individuals. Through the faith of individuals, as determined by him. Thy faith has made the whole. It's available to everybody, but you got it. Your faith caught it. Your faith took it. He has obtained power for everyone, but power has its demands. Oh, Lord, my God, I will I take thee. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee. In a and thirsted unto see thy power and thy glory. As I've seen in the sanctuary. So it demands a thirst of the soul and a longing of the flesh, which is fasting. To step into realms of power. He has obtained that for us, for every one of us. But people engage their active faith to take their portion. What makes faith a mystery? Among others, faith secures the hand of God at will. When faith comes alive on any subject matter, as drawn from scriptures, not assumptions, drawn from scriptures or scripturally steered testimonies, it provokes the automatic hand of God upon that individual. In dealing with that situation, who had believed our report, and unto whom is the hand of the Lord revealed. So you believe he stretches forth his hand to perform. That makes it a mystery. Your blood pressure is high, not me. Check it, not necessary. Went to bed, woke up, had a nap. Dreaming of the crusade coming. That was the end. Brother said, I don't know. He has no time. He has no time for me. <laughs> when dead, First Kings chapter 8 and verse 15, he said, Blessed be the Lord God of Israel, which spake with his mouth unto David, my father, and has with his hand fulfilled it. Every prophetic scripture requires the hands of God for fulfillment. And until faith comes alive, you can't secure the hand of God. Faith will bring the hand of God to bear any day, any time. 
what makes faith a mystery? It quenches all the fear, the darts of the enemy, no matter where the arrow is coming from. When faith is in place, back to sender, back to sender, back to sender, all the time, every way. Number three, faith provokes divine intervention whenever required. Do you believe that I, the Son of God, am able to do this? Say, yeah, Lord, now, come to your faith, take it. You provoke divine intervention whenever required through the instrumentality of faith. Bible-born faith, word-steered faith, Active faith, instruction compliance faith, word roasted faith. Let's close this night by looking at the now miss your faith. And I think this will really bless every one of us. Faith is a now force, not a past tense force, not a future force. Now faith is. Not faith was, nor faith shall be, but faith is. So faith is therefore a now force that triggers good reports. Faith is a now force that triggers good reports. Abraham, for instance, exhibited the now faith all through his work with God. God said, boom, he moved, and he moved, and he moved. And faith is a mover. Anything you claim to move that does, believe that does not move you is fake. <laughs> no, I've been warned of God, of the impending Holocaust. Moved with fear. Hebrews 11, 7. So anything anybody claims to believe and it doesn't move him, it doesn't move in that direction, it's fake. Operation hits your target and you are sleeping. You don't believe in it. This will come out of it, I don't believe it. This is Papa's theory. <laughs> you believe it, you move. That same day, I said, hello, folks. Can you get 100 acres of land here? Go ahead and get it. They say, we got it. I said, get 200 now. We got 200. Now, get 300. Now, get 400. The same day, this is the place. Contrary to my imagination, my small thinking, contrary to whatever thing I'd read before in church growth, this is an anti-church growth location. But God said it. Whatever I say is wins. When you choose to believe. Not just okay, I said it was well, well, no kill us, let him kill us. <laughs> with delight, with joy. Paul was a man of a, uh, 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 he was also a man of the now faith. In the midst of the storm, he said, For I believe God. It shall be even as what told me. <laughs> Not I believed, I believe God. I believe now. Nobody here will be lost. Thank you, Jesus. Acts chapter 27, verse 25. It is the now faith that guarantees maximum delivery in the school of faith. As the water is there, whosoever first steps in is made whole, whatever disease. John 5, 1 to 4. No, whosoever drags, whosoever first dives in. Now faith, no procrastination faith. Whatever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive it and then you shall have it. Not wait to receive it. Not wait to have it. Believe that you have it. Believe that you receive it and you shall have it. Past tense faith never counts. Future faith is important. 
I know will rise up on the latter days. I don't know. I'm a lone boss of I'm the resurrection and the life. Me that will live in the latter day, I'm here. <laughs> in the latter day, I'm here. The good news is, whatever has been harassing you before, your now faith will turn into an open testimony. <laughs> will God be any more powerful tomorrow than he is today? So what you desire for him to do tomorrow, he has the capacity to do it today. Will he be any more faithful tomorrow than he is today? So take it now. You are taking your healing now. Yeah. Your deliverance now. Yeah. Your fear is flying out now. Yeah. Your apprehension is going off now. Yeah. But why deny faith? God, what, but why the now faith? God is the eternal I am that I am. It never changes. Tell Pharaoh, I am, I sent me. <laughs> if they ask what is your name, tell him I am that I am. I am that I am. He will not be any more powerful tomorrow than he is today. So why not take it? He will not be any more faithful tomorrow than he is today. It's available now. Is healing power is the same yesterday, today, and forever and forever. Your healing is available now. This is because faith is a weapon of instant intervention. Faith is a now mystery, not a yesterday or tomorrow for us. Whenever one's faith comes alive, for instance, for salvation, he gets saved the same day. Have you ever imagined somebody repent and Jesus said, oh, I've saved enough people today. You wait tomorrow. The line is very long. No, the day you are saved, you, know I mean? you believe, is the day you are saved. So the same day you believe your healing heritage in Christ has drawn from the world, the same day you are healed. I know God will do it. That's hope. Hope can be deferred. There is no end to tomorrow. Tomorrow is coming after today. And after tomorrow, another tomorrow is coming. Another tomorrow is coming after that tomorrow. So there is a tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow until, until life ends. Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, today is the day of salvation. That's how faith does. When one's faith comes alive for healing, one gets healed same day. All the healings of Jesus, same day. Same day. Man has kept his bed for eight years, same day. He has wasted all his savings on doctors. He was not any better, same day. He had never seen. He was born blind, same day. So what else? <laughs> same day. Prebocatis ale trangola pretanose. In the precious name of Jesus, everything that is fighting your faith from having expression goes down tonight. Yeah. The man that came down to the roof, people exclaim, We have never seen it in this fashion. We have never seen it. Things that the world has never seen will start happening in your life now. And what happened? Jesus saw their faith. He saw the faith of that man. Son, take off your bed. Now, they carried him in. They carried his bed out. It's your turn. It's your turn. As I close, Talking about the word, because John chapter 1, verse 1 to the end is a celebration of the word. As many as received the word, believing, to them gave you power to manifest as sons of God. You receive the word, believing, you are empowered to manifest as a son of God, not a sympathizer of God, as a son of God. You receive the word. 
you find me saying, I'll show you now the son of who I am. I'm not talking about my old man who's gone to heaven. I'm talking about my heavenly father who never dies. <laughs> I'll show you now the son of who I am. When I say that all the devils in here, the jitter. You receive the word, believing you are empowered to manifest the son of God. Lift up your right hand to heaven. Thank you, Jesus. Would you give him thanks, everybody? For the light. If light came your way tonight, give him thanks for it. If light came your way tonight, give him thanks for it. If light came your way tonight, give him thanks for it. If you encounter light tonight, give him thanks for it. Your days of struggling are over. Your day of ups and downs are over. Your days of sleepless nights are over. Your days of uncertainties are over. Give the Lord a big hand of praise.